Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for coming to share in this memorable moment with us. I have to start by saying this experience is definitely one for the books. It has been challenging, but yet rewarding. There are so many different things that I couldn't say to you, but I'm going to sum it all up in one word, and that word is perseverance. But before I elaborate any more on this, I wanted to take the time to briefly share something with you that caught my attention as well as many others. Last year, a video was posted of a group of students reciting a motivational speech led by their teacher, Jasmine Ryan. In the video, the students are standing in the classroom, and as the teacher walks around, she questions them and she says, What do you want to do if it gets too tough? What do you want to do if it gets too rough? What do you want to do if it seems too hard? What do you want to do if you're confused? The students collectively reply to each question by saying, I'm going to push through. She goes on further to say, what do you want to do if you're too dumb? And they all reply, that's not true. This video went viral as it was enlightening to so many people. This term, push through, is so fitting for what we've done during this journey. When we came into the auditorium two years ago, we were excited, we were nervous, and we were scared all at the same time. But the biggest culprit to our fears was fear of the unknown, not knowing what was ahead of us, just simply basking in the fact that we were about to accomplish something big, something that we each had anticipated and desired for a long time. And then the obvious, of course, the excitement came from the fact that we had chosen a career that was about to bring us some really good money. <laughs> In our very first semester, we spent about a week or two being oriented to the program. The semester semester is what I like to call the introduction. Not only were we introduced to the nursing curriculum, but to one another as well. As a matter of fact, we spent about the first two weeks introducing ourselves more than we did our entire lives. We would stand up in the room, say our name, and then share three basic but yet interesting facts about one another. And this is what broke the ice. As we progressed through this fundamental course, little did we know we were setting our foundation. What we learned during this semester is what we needed to guide us through and help us successfully complete the remaining courses. At the beginning of each semester thereafter, our instructors will welcome us back and say, now this level is a buildup of what you guys have learned in the previous semester. Don't forget your fundamentals. <laughs> we anticipated a more advanced level of critical thinking, but we weren't necessarily sure how we were going to do it, but we did. At times of intense frustration, we questioned whether this was in fact the career that we wanted. Some of us said, what else can I do legally to make some good money? <laughs> <laughs> some of us <laughs> Some of us thought about truck driving. <laughs> Other of us watched the news and considered, well, they did say minimum wage was raised to about $15, which I could be pretty good. But after our emotions settled, we did what Evan would say. We pulled it from the muscle, and we pushed through. As we progressed through each turn, our knowledge and clinical skills became more profound. Each level required more of us, more patience, more time, and even more determination. And while our focus was learning and mastering the content and the curriculum to obtain the title registered nurse, there was something else transpiring within each of us. Something we were evolving into, someone we were changing into that we didn't even know existed. A change that caused us to think differently and to view ourselves and the world around us from a much broader perspective. This experience and what we've learned over the last few years was simply a buildup of what was already in us. We've learned how to adapt to the most undesirable circumstances and the most efficient and effective manner. What we endured and accomplished on each day has empowered us to be confident in our God-given abilities. We learned not to use our weaknesses as a crutch but rather a tool to increase our understanding. We also learn to embrace one another's differences and to share our similarities. The unity in which we have come to go has just shown us how effective something is when you do it together as opposed to doing it alone. We pushed each other, held one another accountable, 
And even in our weakest moments, we found the strength to encourage one another. We cheered one another on from every course. And even in those times when we may have been dis disappointed in a test grade or uncertain of our future in school, we uttered words of reassurance. We climbed over every obstacle and managed not to allow our emotions to override our destiny. We pushed through. And if I were committed, Jasmine's speech today, it would be, what if you're too tired? <laughs> what if it gets too tough? <laughs> what if you don't understand the disease process? <laughs> and then one of our favorites, what if the answer to that test question doesn't make any sense? <laughs> And it's one that I held on to. She said, take a look at the person beside you, because you may not see them in the course of the head. This just simply implied that this was, in fact, going to be a challenge. And I have to admit, she was right. It was difficult at times. But you know, the personal persons we saw when we first started are not here, because we are not the same people we were when we walked in there two years ago. Instead of being fearful, we're fearless. Instead of being uncertain or nervous, we are equipped. We are more polished, and that alone speaks volumes. Now, as we move into this next chapter, when we introduce ourselves, we won't be sharing just three basic facts, because there is absolutely nothing basic about us. As we sit before every hiring manager, he or she will be delighted to interview the next generation of nurses that will not only improve quality care, but enhance health care profession as a whole. Now, while we're so proud of what we've achieved, we cannot take sole credit for this. To our instructors, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to each of you for your time, your patience, your diligence, and your skillfulness in preparing us for this very moment. We could not have gotten here without you. So we say thank you. To each and every one of our loved ones today, thank you for all of your continued support. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Thank you for talking us off the ledge. Thank you for all the times you made me sad. Thank you for emptying your bank accounts when we need it. <laughs> and lastly, to my fear. We came, we saw, and we conquered. 